Forgettable Bean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Hensel Co-op. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Edible Bean School. Today I'm near Kirkton, Ontario, catching up with Megan Scott from Hensel Cooperative. How are you doing? Good. How are you, Bernard? I'm well. I'm well. Hey, harvest is coming. Uh, it's underway in some edible bean fields already mm -hmm. across the province. Uh, it's a time of year you get a lot of questions about desiccation, how to manage that crop. I want to talk about timing and rates. Uh, but before that, let's talk about this crop this year. A lot of variability. You got wet spots, dry spots. What's it look like? Yeah, so it really depends on where we're talking. Uh, Eastern Ontario, unfortunately, has gone through some pretty wicked drought periods. Uh, southwestern Ontario, it really depends on where you are. Uh, here in Kirkton, we've done all right. You get maybe south here in North Middlesex, you get some dry pockets again, but again, it, it's it's very variable. Block to block, it makes a difference. Mm. Now, we're going to talk about desiccation, but first of all, let's talk about this field. you got some white beans. At what stage are you? Where are you with this one? Yeah, so we're getting close with this field. We're not quite there yet in terms of making a call on what time it is for desiccation. We are likely five to seven days away from being ready to spray. Right. Let's talk about uh, that, uh, that making that call. Talk about timing. You know, what do we need to think about? Yeah, so really what's most important is get out in that field and start looking at your pods burn. You want to be looking for 90% of your pods to have gone from that green yellow color to that yellow to light brown color. Uh, pods are no longer fleshy and they're kind of that papery texture or a dry texture. Also not a bad idea, pop open the pods and take a look, see what the beans are doing, make sure they're not green, uh, make sure they're kind of making their way towards maturity. What do they look like when they're just not ready? Yeah, so if they're not ready, your pods are going to be typically still fairly green, maybe a little bit yellow and very, very fleshy when you break them open. They don't break open all that easily and the beans inside are often still a tinge of green. Let's talk product choice. I mean, not a lot of options here, but uh, we need to know uh, what we're working with. That's right. So first off, always check with your buyer. Make sure that they approve what product choice you have. Uh, with us, quite often we are using, here in Eastern Canada, we're using a product called Aragon. Aragon Plus is our new packaging that we have available in Eastern Canada. Um, if you're in Western Canada, it would be called Heat. And in the U.S. it'd be called Sharpen, and that is the product of choice for edible beans. Let's talk about water volume. So important to have lots of water and get good coverage. That's right. So anything that the, those droplets do not touch, it will not control. So really water volume is key. Label says minimum 20 gallons. If you're willing to go higher, 25, even 30 gallons, you will get a better desiccation on your crop. What about um, harvest interval, uh, Megan? I mean, obviously we, we've got to time our crops, uh, but we also got to we've got to figure out uh, when to when to harvest. That's right. So label says you've got to wait two days burn, no matter what. You're two days before you can harvest. Now most fields with the leaves, with the weeds, you're going to have to wait longer than that. You know, you might be a week depending on the weather before you're in that field and harvesting. Mm -hmm. Final thoughts for growers now. I mean, as I say, uh, it's about August 29th here. Uh, we're into it. What should they be doing? So get out, look at your fields, check the pods. You know, leaf drops a part of the, the equation, but really you need to get in there and touch the pods, see where they're at. Call your rep if you need help uh, making that call. And when it is time to spray, make sure you're spraying the heat of the day. If you have the option to spray on a sunny, clear day instead of a cool, cloudy day, always pick your warm, sunny day instead of your, your cooler, cloudy mm -hmm. day. Well, um, harvest is upon us. Megan, always great to have you on the Edible Bean School. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for having me.